like I said before, but there's just going to be a couple of sections where the wind will be pretty strong, but that's something we've got to expect. If there's 30 degrees forecast in Hobart, you can guarantee that's because of a strong wind from the north. And that's really uh, what controls our temperatures here in town. Shelter a lot of Port Arthur in the, uh, in the usual weather conditions. If you've been to Remarkable Cave, that's the bay uh, out to the left, just sort of around the point, a couple of hundred metres to the left there. Main Gone Bay opens up and uh, Remarkable Cave is where you can drive to. So once we finish this little loop here, we're going to head over to the other side of Port Arthur, across the wind, but it'll be our first run up into the breeze, so hang on to your hats and uh, your masks, I suppose. It's going to be a pretty windy until we stop on the other side. Okay, so as you can see, tucked up underneath the cliffs here, it's not all that bad. Just a couple little gusts down off the cliff face, but yeah, as far as wave and swell conditions go, this is as calm as it could possibly be down here on, on the south. Shadow Eagle Hawk Neck would be near impossible, um, so we'll see a bit of gear, a few boats. That boat behind us with the dive flag up, um, would they be looking for some abalone or maybe some crazy? lack of light, you've got the pinky colour encrusting the walls in the caves, that's called coralline algae and pink is the best colour for photosynthesising low light conditions. So one of the plants that does pretty well in here. Stone in front of us, and we're going to stop just around that corner and have a look at it. 
really stunning cave. Check out between here and Tasman. So we're heading to Hayquite next. Into the mudstone, and we'll show you another beautiful cave. 